Hello dear students. So today we are going to solve one more problem on planes. The problem is a regular hexagonal lamina of sides 30 mm 30 mm is lying in such a way that one of its sides touches both the reference plane. If the lamina makes 60 degree with HP, draw the projections of the lamina. This is what is stated in the problem. So let us underline the important parameters. It is a regular the hexagonal lamina. The sides length is given is 30 mm. In lying such a way that one of its sides touches both the reference both the reference plane. It is only possible when it is resting with the edge condition. It is whenever it is resting in edge condition, it is possible. So the problem is of the edge condition. Then he has given the lamina is making 60 degree with HP. Even with this statement also, you can guess the problem is of the edge condition. So let us draw the XY line first. Let us draw the XY line in order to solve the problem. So let me draw the XY line. This is X. This is Y. Vertical plane and this is horizontal plane. So how to construct a regular hexagon? The one of the simplest method is constructing a circle equal to the radius. So taking the radius of a circle equal to the, the side length that is 30 millimeter. So I'm taking a 30 millimeter length radius. I'm like constructing a very thin circle. So be careful. The circle which you're going to construct should be very, very thin. So I have constructed a circle. So now depending upon whether the problem is of edge condition or corner condition, you may have to vary. So let me construct a one vertical line because since edge I have to get on my sides. So I should get a vertical diameter first. So then choosing that vertical diameter, I'm going to construct a hexagon. Just draw arcs of equal radius of the arc is also same equal to the radius of the circle that is nothing but 30 millimeter. So once you've done that, you're going to get a 30 millimeter exactly 30 millimeter. See, look at here, you're going to get 30 millimeter length sides. So just construct them, keeping edge condition. Since it is even number of sides, the both the sides you are going to get edge only. So let me start naming from the, the rightmost bottom corner. So it has six corners. And also let me annotate it. See, it is 30 millimeter. It is 30 millimeter. So front view, top view is over. Let me draw the front view. The front view is seen as a, a flat line since it is a resting completely on a horizontal plane. Since it is completely resting on the ground, it in the front view it is seen as a, a simple straight line. Simple straight line. So let me annotate it. Since you are looking from the front, A dash, B dash, and C dash are visible. D, E, F are invisible. So let, let me put that inside a bracket so this is about the top and front view of our initial position next what is said in the problem is he said one of its side touches both the reference plane that means if you're taking af is condition the af is also touches the xl line that should be considered in the later stage but first let take the lamina inclination with respect to the resting plane that is hp given it as 60 degree so let me choose a point here and make an inclination 60 degree with respect to xy line so let me take 60 degree inclination here and draw a line the line which i'm going to construct should be thin i've drawn it the next thing is i have to 
transfer the front view to the second position. So I have to make the lamina inclined at an angle of 60 degree. So let me choose this. Let me choose corner A dash to B dash. Okay, now you name this as A of F dash, B of E dash, C of D dash and darken the lamina till corner C dash, till corner C dash. Now what's the inclination? The inclination is 60 degree, the inclination is 60 degree. Once you done that, in order to complete the top view, what you have to do, you need to draw the vertical and the horizontal projections from the respective corners. So let me draw the projections, but be careful, the projections what you are drawing should be thin, should be thin. So I am equating corner E to E dash, so look at where it is, it is at this particular point, I am equating point F and D. They are coming on the same horizontal line. Next, I am equating the corners A and C. <coughs> Next, the corner B. Might be the projection of this second vertical line is not perfect. So, let me redraw that. Yes, now this one is correct. Okay, let it be. So now let me name it again. Here it is A, B, C, D, E and F. So let me dock the hexagon in the top view. So once you done that, the next you have to think about the last position that is given in the problem. The resting edge is touches both the reference plane. The resting edge is AF. You can take one of the sides is set, so it doesn't matter. But since I have taken the resting edge as AF, I will keep that AF on the XY line itself. So for that, what I will do is I will measure this 30 millimeter. I will measure this 30 millimeter on the XY line itself. So let me name, if I move to rotate in a clockwise direction, so this is a corner A and this is corner F, right? So just I transfer what is the distance? A, F on this line. Now what you have to do is, you simply draw two vertical lines. Simply draw the two vertical lines. Simple line, should be thin. Now I can get this parallel distance that is A and C very simply just measuring A C once bisecting it here and F as center bisect it once again here. So I am going to get corner C and corner D easily just by drawing two vertical lines measuring A C and bisecting the vertical lines I get corner C and corner D. Now measure any one of the corner it is very simple just measure any one of the corner let me measuring A B. Let me take F as center, draw an arc and D as center bisect it. Similarly, C as center, draw an arc, E as center bisect it. So you got corner B as well as corner E. So now you darken the object. Okay. So let me join the, all the corners A to B. B to C, C to D, D to E, E to F and F to A. So this is the completion of the, the second position, sorry third position, top view. So let us complete the front view of the final position by just drawing the projection lines that is drawing the 
projections lines guess this was bit inclined right this is perfect so now just coincide the points a and f are the same horizontal line i need not to worry just i need to draw vertical projections like b vertical projections e vertical projections d and vertical projection c once you done that just name this a dash f dash e d c and b so let us darken the object so this is the solution for the the given problem is stated one of its edges in uh, resting on both the reference plane so i take an a of hp and also a dash and f dash on bp so this is a solution for the the given problem thank you dear students